So how's this going to work? She'll experience the hidden memories like a dream. Like she's a passenger inside someone else's body. All she has to do is observe. And remember as much as possible. Will it hurt? It shouldn't. But I feel it necessary to point out that the equipment is not designed to be used this way. I know. I know. We'll be monitoring your vital signs. If anything goes wrong, we'll pull you out. I'm ready. Nice to see you. Um, I'm really fascinated by this story here of yeah. you, first of all. Because what brings you to TV? What brings you to acting in TV? What was the... Yeah, it's a change of medium for me, for sure. I, I have a theater background. Uh, I've been doing that for the last nine years. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and uh, I started auditioning, I started going out for a couple of television shows just this past summer. This is like the third audition I had. And um, I, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. That's cool. Yeah. And was there a reason that you wanted to get into TV? Was there like a drive to just, you wanted to expand? Or was it... Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to lie. It was my agent. He, uh, he was really pushing me. I had an offer to, to do another part in New York. What? And he really pushed me to make a change. And he was like, you've already done that part somewhere else. And he goes, you need to push and you need to grow. And, uh, and there was a casting call and he just thought that I sounded right for it. That's cool. And uh, it just kind of snowballed from there. Awesome. Well, tell me a little bit about the show. What's, yeah. What's the... What's the story here? Um, the blurb is that uh, Dark Matter is the story of six people who wake up on a ship and they have no idea who they are or how they got there. And uh, as they move forward, they have to figure out that mystery and hmm. they deal with a lot of uh, unfortunate characters. And there's lying and betrayal and vengeance and uh, hmm. love. And uh, yeah. It, it moves quickly. It's a fast-paced show. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me a little bit about your character. What, what does she discover about herself? Yeah, well, that, that's the that's, big, that's, that's that's the big secret. Okay. Um, but two, two essentially steps into this leadership role hmm. amongst the six on the ship. And it happens instinctively. Hmm. But uh, the fact that she is such an unbelievably fast learner and a master fighter allows her to assume that position without too much resistance from her comrades. <laughs> and if there is, then she deals with it swiftly. <laughs> and so what's her relationship like with the other people? What, what, what happens there? Yeah, it's generally one of uh, respect mm -hmm. and for some people affection. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, she's a rational thinker and she tries to make the best decision in that moment. And, and I personally think that she's got a good moral compass. She's a compassionate mm. person, but there are moments of uh, great anger that mm. come from her. And it's usually motivated by, by uh, an instinct to be protective of the people around her. Mm. Yeah. And what, when you were preparing for this role, I mean, what were you thinking? Was there anything you kind of, I guess, were thinking of when you're trying to get into that, that character? I mean, how do you play someone who doesn't know themselves? Yeah, but you know what? I think I think that the interesting thing is that the, the parallel that we were running was that I didn't know who she was either. Right. So I, I was just being honest in that moment, you know. Um, I realized that a few episodes in, as I was going, I was trying to, like, figure out things about her and muscle through it, and uh, it's okay to not know, because hmm. she doesn't know. And, and that probably gives my not knowing on, on camera a little bit something different. Um, I, I, given the circumstances that she's put in and what I do know about her, what little I know, um, mm. all I can do is respond truthfully in those circumstances. You know? That's pretty cool, actually. It is. I mean, it's a nice blank slate to slip, step into that you don't usually get to Yeah, play. and it's a wonderful, I think, first gig for me, mm. moving from something, you know, I think that it's much more accessible right. than, than maybe other characters would be. That's cool. Yeah, I think so too. So what's the, what do you think people are going to tune into? Like, what, what do you think is going to be the, the thing that's going to catch people once they start watching? I think it's going to be the characters and the story. I mean, the story is just fantastic. Paul and Joe, our writers, um, I think have just knocked it out of the park. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, 
when we first started getting the script and they were releasing it to us, I could not stop. Like they are absolute page turners. And it got to the point where we were like, when are we gonna get eight? When are we gonna get nine? And uh, there's just so much to be excited about and, and the perils that they end up facing, they're just heart thumpers. You know, it's a it's a fast paced show. There's a lot of action. There's, you know, there's moments of tenderness and, and mm. connection. Um, but uh, there's a lot happening. The guns are cool. All oh, the guns. <laughs> the guns are great. Um, and the set is fantastic. Yeah, it, it's a, I think it's a good show. That's cool. Yeah. So in terms of, uh, you know, once you're acting in this, did you notice, uh, what are the differences for you going from stage to, to TV that maybe you first noticed as you're like stepping out and going, oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's different? Yeah, uh, a huge, huge difference is... Um, in theater, you get to revisit a moment, night mm. after night after night, month after mm. month. And here, you know, you revisit revisit it maybe once or twice, and mm. then it's gone, and you have to make peace with the fact that that scene has happened, <laughs> and it is done, and you need to focus on the next one. Um, and that was a bit of a shift for me, for sure, because I, I would go home thinking about a scene, and thinking about all the different ways we could have played it. But because we don't have five weeks of rehearsal <laughs> to hash that out, you get, you know, you have to make a decision. And so learning to do that homework and making sure that you really come to the table with what you feel you your character would bring um, is really important. So It's yeah. fleeting. I mean, really. It is. Yeah. It is. But what happens... Even if you're spending a day on it. <laughs> yeah. What happens in 30 seconds on camera is like hours and hours of work, not only on set, but, right. but off camera prepping hmm. what we want to do and say and represent in that split-second moment. So how far in are you filming right now? We're, We're in the middle of episode the, six. Six? Oh, so you're, you're, We're you're in the middle. Wow. Yeah. And uh, have, you, have you grown to appreciate anything different then from what you first experienced when you, you stepped on set? Like, ha has your opinion, I guess, evolved as you've been uh, kind of doing it? Yes, I mean, at first... I mean, that's inevitable, I'm sure. Yeah, um, my learning curve has been so steep. Hmm. Um, because the first day we were here, you know, there's marks on the ground, and I'm like, what <laughs> am I supposed to stand there? But, um, yeah, it's been, it's been great to have that shift where I'm not so focused on the technical aspects of things, and so I can really put hmm. all of my focus... Um, entirely on what I'm saying and how I'm saying it and uh, doing that homework. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Do you, do you have moments where, I mean, the learning curve is, is tougher? I mean, is there anything that you have a harder time getting into? Is the action scenes or the, any specific I things? I love the action scenes. You love them. <laughs> I love kicking ass and so does two. Um, you know, I should say that in the moment when two has those moments where she is uh, engaged with a combatant, um, that's, that's something else that takes over. Mm. It's generally not uh, who she presently is, because she doesn't remember that, right. but when it does happen, it, it's like a reflex, and it happens so quickly, so mm. usually after the carnage is before her, it's, it's pretty devastating for her to see that, or what she's done, and what she's capable of, but as Melissa... I love fights. <laughs> They're so much fun. John Stead, our uh, stunt director, is um, sent from heaven. He's so talented and so fantastic. And his movement is very organic, and the fights look and feel real. And it's really fun to wear leather harnesses and guns. I got to pull a double barrel in. Yeah, it's just, it's really, really fun to, to do this show. Nice. The only thing I want to know is, like, in terms of how the show moves, do you find it quick, or is it has it been a slow kind of burn? The show's fast paced, um, and and I like I think there's so much action. Not so much, but I mean, the action is like well placed. You know, we've got our moments where we're on the ship and we're just being crew members with each other, and then we've got our scenes where we're dealing with a job, and it's it's fast and it's going, and you got to keep up with us. Um, no, it's it's a it's a great show. Can't cool. wait to share it. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Andrew.